Hello! For today, we will discuss about sequence. And our objective, list the next few terms of a sequence. What is a sequence? A sequence is a string of objects like numbers that follows a particular pattern. The individual elements in a sequence are called terms. The terms denoted by a sub n, where n indicates the position of the terms. So again, what is n? It indicates the position or order of the terms. And what is a sub n? The terms in the sequence. Now let us have the example. First term, or a sub 1, is 3. Second term, or a sub 2, is 6. Third term, or a sub 3, is 9. Fourth term, or a sub 4, is 12. Fifth term, or a sub 5, is 15. And positions, a sub n, terms. Now, can you give the next value in the given sequence? 4, 8, 12, 16. 20. How did you get your answer? Add 4 to 16. What is the 8th number in the given sequence? The first term is 9, the second term is 4, the third term is negative 1, the fourth term is negative 6, the fifth term is negative 11, the sixth, the seventh, and the eighth term. We're looking for those terms. How do you get your next term? So let's start from 9. So you have to add negative 5. 9 plus negative 5 equals 4. And that is our second term. 4 plus negative 5 equals negative 1. Third term. Negative 1 plus negative 5 equals negative 6. The fourth term. Negative 6 plus negative 5 equals negative 11, the fifth term. Negative 11 plus negative 5 equals negative 16, the sixth term. Negative 16 plus negative 5 equals negative 21, the seventh term. And the last Negative 21 plus negative 5 equals negative 26, our 8th term. So what did you observe? You have to add a constant number to be able to get the next term. And our constant number in this sequence is negative 5. Okay, let's have more examples. Give the next three terms of the following sequence. Number 1, we have 2, 5, 8, 11.
So we have 14, 17, 20. And what is the rule? Add 3 to each term of the sequence. Number 2. 1, negative 3, negative 7, negative 11. And our answer, so we have negative 15, negative 19, and negative 23. And what is the rule? Add negative 4. Let's proceed to number 3. 1, 4, 16, 64. And we have 256, 1024. 4046 we multiply by 4 number 4 81 64 47 30 13 negative 4 We have negative 21, negative 38, and negative 55. And the rule? Subtract to 17. And the last one for number 5. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Okay, we have 64, 128, and 256. We have to multiply by 2. Let's have more examples. Oh, let's have the rule first. Given at least the first three terms of a sequence, you can easily find the next term in the sequence by simply discovering the pattern as how the third term is derived from the second term and the second term from the first term. You will find that either a constant number is added or subtracted or multiplied or divided to get the next term or a series of operation is performed to get the next term. Okay? Okay, let's proceed now to more examples. Write the next three terms of the sequence. Thank you for watching. Bye.